Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics that shows how to do shorthand and text expansion in LibreOffice word processor called Writer. However, you can do this in any word processor. I used to do it for years and years with DOS. There is a feature inside of the word processor LibreOffice Writer which is placed in Tools and if you go down to where it says autocorrect options it is a device which corrects your spelling however you can add words to this and it will expand into whole words when you write shorthand I have made a whole bunch of them and you can make thousands of them uh, I put a few in here and you may not like some of them the th sound I use an initial comma so to write the word then I just write comma in and then when I hit space it turns into then same thing with though those there this and that if I put in that thing is leaning to the left so it's a grave grave H it turns into name address and city these are the ones that are already in. If you put in parentheses, capital C, parentheses, it turns into the copyright sign, and so on. There are a few hundred of them in here. And as you go down, you can see what they've done. If you misspell the word about as A-B-O-T-U, it will automatically get corrected. And if you put too many C's in the word across, it gets automatically corrected. And accommodate it just goes on and on however what I'm using it for is shorthand now while I've got this screen open I want to show you that there are many 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 options for this here are your exceptions in other words if you accidentally write a p p t dot that's for appointment it does not try to correct that spelling because you put it in as an exception. In options you can turn this whole business off by unclicking M and T. You are now not using the replacement table. Another option that is very important is in case you accidentally write two initial capital letters it will correct that. Another one you may want is it will automatically put a capital letter first letter of the word. Well let me close this and I'm going to go into this new word processor file and I'm going to write a little shorthand. Was is just WS. This not were, was, who, ah, now there's one I haven't put in yet. I'm going to later put in WHO as the definition of who. Now, what were the other ones I did? You can actually just write the way you want to and then take the ones that are underlined like this and put them in. Now remember I had one that was the home address. Ah, that didn't work. That's because I did not hit space. Instead I hit enter. And then I went back and it still didn't work. Well, let me try it again. Grave, H, A. It still didn't work. What am I doing wrong? Well, I don't know. I want to show you how to put in the home address using a different technique, different program. I will unzoom and go to the top of the screen and I've got an icon up here. That's Auto Key and it's running. Auto Key is a program that you can get from the Ubuntu Software Center and while it is open you just type in Auto Key and you can download this program. There is a, 
a Windows program called Auto Hotkey, which is the big brother of this, and it does more stuff, and I think probably is more complete. I have a green check mark here, and it shows that I've already got it. When I tap on it and ask for more information, it tells you it's installed. Furthermore, it says I've got it in applications and accessories. And then you can go to the website. I've already got it running. It kind of runs in the background. I go to applications, accessories, auto key. Well, it's up there already. And since it's running already, I'm going to use the shortcut for the home address. And here I just put in, is that a cute or a grave? It's a grave. And then A. And it puts in name, address, city, state, zip, phone, and if you want, email. Now, I used auto key instead of auto correct in LibreOffice Writer for one particular reason. LibreOffice Writer will not do a multiple line replacement. And auto key will. Let's go up to auto key and open it up, take a look at it. Auto key does a lot of stuff. I'm going to open up new folder and here I've got home address and my definition is grave A and then here's what it inputs and I'll zoom in on that you can see it better. There's still yet another way to do text expansion and that's the way I used to do it in DOS. I can't show it to you now because I'm using Linux, but I had a word processor called Video Display Editor, and in that program, I would I would write, and it would not expand, and it would be all truncated and short. And then when I was done, I would run a post processor, and it would go through and expand it after the fact, which is not a bad way to go. Down here I've started a shorthand list and it's by no means complete. This is all very, very personal. A lot of people are going to do it one way and a lot of people aren't going to do it at all. Uh, in this list I've got the before, first, then a space, and then the after. So BR is best regards. CDN could not. CD could. You can alphabetize a list like this using a word processor pretty easy. So you go control A and then you go tools and then you go where is it? Sort. I'm looking for it. Sort. And it says column 1, yes. Ascending, yes. And then I hit OK and the whole thing is now alphabetized. Well, that's fine, except for one thing. I've got some stuff here, like the word the and them, and they're at the beginning, and they're at the beginning because I sorted on the first column, so to speak, which and the comma precedes an A. Well, I will now go Control A, select everything, tools, go back up to sort, and I'm going to go to column two, and my separator is going to be a space. And now when I hit OK, the second column, which is the word that I am expanded to, is in alphabetical order. And the first column, these words, are not sorted. So actually precedes RU, and then R, then before, then best regards. And if you look at the first column, those are not in alphabetical order. This is a very good trick. 
You may think that you cannot type very fast doing this and it's too much bother and too much trouble and it's all nonsense. I can tell you that with regular Greg stenography shorthand the benchmark figure is 175 words a minute. I have another video that shows how to do Greg stenography and in it I demonstrate that by the Gettysburg address. Courtroom stenographers using a stenotype machine, they really have to go fast. I'm going to guess two, three, up to 400 words a minute. There is another keyboard layout called Dvorak, and you have this here in Linux Ubuntu, and it rearranges all the letters of the alphabet on your keyboard. And one of the early devotees of the Dvorak keyboard, a lady who failed her typing class and later went back and relearned Dvorak, was able to type all day long at 200 words a minute, which is enough to get a job in a courthouse. I don't think that you'll be able to type that fast with this, but I'll bet you anything if you make a complete list that you can easily, easily do 150 words a minute. I do not have all of the stuff here that uh, you may want to see. There is a way where you can batch load the entire list. And wow, that would be beyond the scope of this video. If this was helpful, I would like to hear from anybody who might like it. Uh, my name is Pop. And I have a whole bunch of other YouTube videos. Thank you very much.